Hello, my name is Greg Vale. Today I'm going to do part two of uh, winterizing an Apame beehive. Part two here is about how to build a quilt box onto your Apame beehive. Um, what I do is I make it really simple. I have a, a deep super. Some people might like to use a, uh, you know, a, a medium super instead. If you've ever seen an Apame hive, what you'll notice is that the top of the hive has a feeder on it. Now, right now I have candy syrup in here. And so there are a lot of bees inside of this. It's not syrup, or it's a fondant. So it's hard candy that's in there. The bees are running around inside this lid right now. If I open it up a little, you can see some in there. Can you see them in there? So they have fondant in there. They're going to town on it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a quilt box. And so what I do is I use this little edge here, just like on the app, made just like you would a queen excluder, and I just leave it on there. And I take my super, I'll put it right over the top of the feeder, like I was going to add a, a honey super on it, and I click it down in the same slot it would go in if there was a queen excluder in between here. As you can see, this leaves that sitting right there on the top, all ready to go. Now. I've seen a lot of people, they create these quilt boxes and they put cedar chips in them. The cedar chips work really well. Um, cedar chips can be a little bit messy. So what I've done is I take my cedar chips and I put them in a pillowcase. Not a real thick kind of pillowcase or anything. You want something that, you know, is going to be able to have air breathe through it because the airflow is going to need to come up out of the top of this feeder. It's going to need to go through the pillowcase and through the cedar chips, allowing the air to come up out of here. Then when the warm air makes it up out of here and it hits cold air up through here, the condensation can create on the inside of this lid. And then as it drips back down, it will drip back down onto the cedar chips which will hold the moisture and not let the moisture go back into the inside of the hive. The other nice thing about this is that it leaves plenty of space so that I can put one of these freezer thermometers in the top of here and in the winter time I can come out and lift this lid up and I can see what the temperature is going on inside of here compared to the outside environment. I also have inside the hive one on top of this brood box and one on top of this brood box, what they call a brood minder. The brood minder allows me to Bluetooth with my telephone and sync up to the device that's in the hive, which then tells me the temperature and humidity in the hive. So I can see, you know, how my bees are doing. Of course, if, you know, it's 40 degrees outside and the temperature inside the hive drops off to 40 degrees, well, your bees are dead. The other thing I want to say about making a quilt box is that when you do this, you only make this the cedar chips approximately three to four inches thick. If you, you know fill this up with a great good pillowcase all the way to the top full of cedar chips, it's not going to be able to let the air flow through and all the humidity that you're trying to get rid of or trying to have come out of the hive is going to end up stuck in the boxes as though you know you put a cap on it. So when we're done, we just put the lid back on like normal, seal it up for winter. This means that in the winter time when I want to come out here, I can take this lid off without disrupting my bees. I can see the temperature in there. I can pull the pillowcase off. And then if I need to, actually better off on really cold days than on warmer days, because on warmer days I take this lid off, there will be some bees in here. On the colder days, when I take this lid off, a lot of them will be all back down on the inside and won't be trying to come out and, you know, disturb you or get cold. The bees come out in the cold, they end up dying. Oops. Put my cedar chips back on there. Make sure the cedar chips go out to the edges on all four sides. Got my thermometer in there. Put the lid back on. And we have ourselves a very easy 
very simple way to make a quilt box for an Apame hive. Um, I'm going to do one more step on winterizing a hive. I will uh, be wrapping a heat tape around it. I will be putting a tarp around it. And then I will be sealing them up with some sheets of wood to make kind of a windbreaker. Um, this is all I am going to do in part two for creating a quilt box on top of your Apame hive. My name is Greg Vale. Have a nice day. Thank you very much.